The devil is a liar. Praise the Lord, everyone. I bring you greetings this day. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I played this song because this is a song God put in my spirit today as I was praying. And God was dealing with me today about salvation and making him savior and lord um she says i'm going down because you ain't around we're not talking about a man we're talking about jesus you're going down if jesus is not on board so today we want to make sure that he is in every area of our lives in the name of jesus that we are submitted we are yielded to him that we seek him for everything we do before we make a move we want to make sure that god is on board with us Cora and his descendants and um the inhabitants that were with him all of his possessions and everything were swallowed up god told moses I'm um, telling other people, get out of the way because I'm coming for Cora tomorrow. And he went down because he did not have Jesus around. Uh, the same thing with Saul. Saul lost his kingship because God was not around. He disobeyed the command. And because of his rebellion, he lost his kingship. He lost his position. He went down. Same thing with Jonah. Jonah got on board with the men and went the opposite way of what God told him. And as a result, the men were throwing things overboard, trying to stop from sinking. Um, they <clears throat> even prayed, but they couldn't even pray themselves out of this storm. They were going down because Jesus was not on board because because Jonah was in rebellion. The devil himself got thrown down from heaven because he rebelled against God. He was one of the most anointed people in heaven, but because he decided that he wanted to be great and big and better than Jesus, then God, guess what? He went down and he's going down to the eternal lake of fire and brimstone and hell as a result of his choice. So today, look at your neighbor and say, I ain't going down like that. I'm not going out like that. So today we want to make sure we are in line with the word of God. We want to make sure that we bring our minds, our thoughts and the captivity and subjection to God's word, his plans and his purposes, because we don't want to go down. And if you're with anyone who you know is willfully operating in rebellion, you might want to separate like God told Moses to tell the people that were with Korah, just as they had to throw Jonah overboard, you might have to throw some folk overboard. You might have to separate from some people because nobody is worth going down. I'm not going down for nobody. I'm not going to be uh, caught up in the line of fire and come with God coming against me with wrath and judgment for nobody. The devil is a liar. So today we want to think about these things. Are you submitted? Are you truly, have you relinquished control and is God on board? Is he on board on your job? Is he on board in your home? Is he on board in your finances? Are you doing things the way God said for you to do them? That means he's on board. That means he's around. That means he is Lord of your life. The disciples, when they were out on the water, they were in a storm. They thought they were going down, but Jesus was on board and Jesus spoke peace to the winds and the waves. So we see this illustration is important that we have Jesus on board in every area of our lives. He needs to be in control of every aspect of our lives. Don't move until God tells you to move. If he tells you to stop, stop. If he tells you to go, go. If he says go left, go left. If he says go right, go right. Because we are not going down. So today in the name of Jesus, we want to bring our ourselves into total obedience and submission to God's will and his purpose and plans for our life. We come against pride and rebellion today. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. God, today we say we submit, we yield, we surrender, we give ourselves unto you, oh God, that you are Lord. You are in charge, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because we know that with God on ship, when he is on board, we know that we are victorious. So today, Today we declare that we are not going down because we're going to make sure that Jesus is always around. Not only around, make sure he's inside. Make sure you're hearing from him. So have a blessed day. Give God glory in all you do. And we'll see you back real soon.